Before there was Denzel Washington or Sidney Poitier, there was Paul Robeson. In just a dozen power performances on the silver screen, Robeson helped carve a path for African-American actors to follow. What is less known is that Robeson, in many ways, also pioneered the civil rights movement. On this day in 1933, starring Robeson, the film Emperor Jones was released. It was the first major motion picture to feature a black actor in a lead character. This film tells the story of a young black man leaving the South to pursue opportunities elsewhere. This, despite his Academy Award-worthy performance, it will be a quarter century before the country saw another black lead. The silver screen wasn't the only place that Robeson's greatness was on display. He was an All-American athlete at Rutgers University, played professional football to fund his scholarly studies, and obtained a law degree from Columbia. After the release of Emperor Jones, Robeson toured Europe in 1934, where he would visit Germany and see firsthand the racist fascist rule of, not, of the Nazi regime. On this same trip, he would also spend some time in the Soviet Union and experience what he described as true equality. On this visit, he said, quote, here I am not a Negro, but a human being. For the first time in my life, I walk in full human dignity. There's a question of whether one who wants to sing and act can have, as a citizen, political opinion. And uh, in attacking me, they suggested that when I was abroad, I spoke out against injustices to the Negro people in the United States. I certainly did. Robeson was compelled to speak out against America's racist government, but he did more than just speak. He was an organizer for the Civil Rights Congress, which raised money to campaign against racist legislation. And after a meeting with President Truman to advocate for the passage of anti-lynching laws, he founded the American Crusade Against Lynching in 1946. For this, Robeson was blacklisted in the United States and his passport was taken away, compromising his ability to make a living. His concerts were canceled and his records were withdrawn from stores. Even his all-American status as a football player at Rutgers was wiped from the records. Yet, in the face of extreme persecution, Robeson's deep-seated commitments to his ideals would not be deterred. So today, we celebrate the legacy of Paul Robeson, a fundraiser and spokesman for the movement. And that is for the culture. Thank you for watching Prime, and a good night.